Good evening, it's Thursday. Time to take a look here at your Thursday evening weather webcast here. And of course, we received more rainfall across a good portion of the area out there. As you can see here, it's kind of another wet day. We picked up anywhere from uh, about three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain in most places. Uh, over three quarters of an inch in Cahutta, almost an inch down in Calhoun, almost an inch uh, over in Chatsworth and Lafette as well here. The good news is the heavy rainfall now has pretty much moved on out of the area now, so we should be looking at a pretty good break coming into the area. Take a look at the radar picture. You can see some scattered showers here it's moving down toward our south here, and that's that dry air filtering in. So if you're heading down 75 tonight, it looks like you're going to run into some rain. But around here, we're basically looking at the dry side of things coming up for us. So take a look at your wet weather headlines. The rain ends, but the clouds will stick around and hang in there for us overnight tonight and throughout your daytime hours on Friday. You'll notice the winds really picking up as they go throughout the day on Friday. A strong northerly wind. Also, you're going to notice that's going to be bringing in some much cooler air, so it's going to feel very chilly coming up for your Friday with high struggling to make it up into the lower 50s out there, so get ready for that. And we're looking at a very blustery weekend coming up for us, especially on Saturday with high struggling to make it out of the 40s coming up with plenty of clouds and maybe even a few sprinkles out there. On the regional radar picture, you can see the scattered showers that moved through the area earlier today. Now again, pushing on down towards the south here, and we are beginning to dry things on out, which is some good news. Now we have the drizzle and the clouds hanging around because we've had this stalled out front here. The stationary front stretched across Georgia. We call that the wedge. And basically you have a high pressure in the Atlantic bringing in those easterly winds. That's bringing in the cooler air and also creating the drizzle out there for us. And then we have this warm subtropical air mass moving up across that front of Boundary here. And as those two things coincide with each other, we get the uh, scattered drizzle and the moisture out there. And that creates the clouds and that wedge effect. Now, on the national radar picture, you'll be able to see here our big system moving off towards the east. Look at all the snow that's taking place up in the Pennsylvania. They're expecting uh, to be measuring snow some places up there in the feet coming up here. But around here, we're not talking about that. We're going to be watching this next disturbance here that's moving down from the south. That's going to be bringing in the colder air. We'll also be bringing in clouds for us coming up this weekend and can't rule out a few sprinkles or a few light showers as this computer model wants to generate across the area here. And look at this by Friday night into Saturday morning, especially in the higher elevations. We're talking about the chance of seeing even a few snowflakes coming in uh, to some of those areas, especially around the Smokies and areas off towards the north. So we'll continue to be watching that as well. So cloudy skies tonight, some drizzle fog out there, 45 to 50, mainly cloudy, windy and chilly coming up for your Friday, 50 to 55 degrees with again an isolated shower too. It won't be a big rain out or anything like that. And your Friday night football forecast, cloudy skies, maybe a sprinkle, but you will need a jacket out there. So make sure you bring your jackets to the football games. A strong northerly wind out there as well coming up for your Friday night in temperatures. During the game time, only into the 40s, so it's going to feel very chilly out there. Our first pretty chilly, cool football forecast coming up for us on your Friday night. And the rest of Friday night, we're looking at temperatures dropping down into the upper 30s to lower 40s with, again, maybe an isolated shower out there. Now, take a look here at our temperatures across the region here. Much cold air moving in for the weekend here. Temperatures getting close to freezing by Sunday and Monday mornings there. And then a slow rebound in temperatures as we head towards the beginning of next week. With temperatures warming up as we head towards next week, we could be looking at temperatures for highs nearing 70 degrees out there. So that will feel very nice as well. So here's a look here at your seven day forecast. Cloudy and windy coming up Friday and Saturday with temperatures struggling to make it into the upper 40s out there. Maybe even a few sprinkles or isolated shower Friday night and early Saturday. And then drying out for the beginning of next week and also warming up with temperatures by next week, warming up to near 70 degrees. But look at this 34 degrees by Monday morning. Looks like some frost could be pretty likely for us. So we'll be watching that and updating you on that as we go throughout the rest of the week as well. Let's look at your weather webcast for your Thursday evening. We'll have another update for you coming up on your Friday. Everybody have a good evening.